After months of no action tonight, the city of Taylor is one step closer to opening recreational marijuana shops. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillion. City Council just passed the marijuana ordinance tonight, months after voters approved the measure last fall. Jacqueline Francis live in Taylor with what it'll look like. Jacqueline. Hi, Devin and Kimberly. We can expect anywhere from three to five recreational marijuana shops to open up here in Taylor once they begin accepting applications this fall. It's a big step for the city after months, if not years, of debate. It's been a long time coming. Taylor residents applauding and waving their signs at Tuesday's yes. city council meeting. Motion passes five to two. The 5 to 2 vote passed the zoning ordinance, allowing recreational marijuana sales in the city of Taylor. But there was some pushback. Two in Inkster, two in Lincoln Park, eight in River Rouge. I overheard someone in the in the hallway saying, everywhere you turn, you see a pot store. And that is very, very sad for children, I, I think. Especially when it came to the 2,500 feet rule, meaning the dispensaries could be no less than 2,500 feet away from one another and the protected areas like schools and churches. The council chair said they had to make some revisions. Dating 2,500 feet would have meant that there were no parcels. So what we did is we used natural barriers, right? A freeway is a natural barrier. Meaning a house or a school can be on one side of the freeway and a dispensary on the other, even if they're not 2,500 feet apart. Feels great. It's been a, we've been working on it for a very long time and uh, you know, we've made some concessions, but we're, we're on the right path. The dispensaries can only open in approved industrial areas of the city. Oh, it's not going to be on every corner. It's really not even going to be very visible. But the areas that we chose are going to be close to freeways. So, you know, it, it will be accessible for people to come to Taylor uh, to purchase, but also for our residents not having to drive 5, 10 miles. Last November, 56% of Taylor voters said yes to recreational marijuana sales in the city. The clerk's office will begin accepting those applications October 1st. Reporting live in Taylor, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Keep watching communities trying to figure out the path forward in this, All right, Jacqueline?